This is where we redefine and redesign education and entertainment. Welcome to your portal of information, everybody. It is the biggest, the baddest, and the most hip and happening show in the motherland. We are hectic nine million times than any other show in the motherland. You can email us through XA at KeepTownTV.org or follow us on Twitter. It's XA underscore live. Facebook, it's XA on Cape Town TV. YouTube, XA on Cape Town TV. We're also on Instagram. It's XA on Cape Town TV. That number two dollars zero two one four four eight zero four four eight. My name is Lamo Moon. She is the mayor. She's in the building. Her name is Amy Mayor. We're taking you right through to the hour five. You made the right decision by choosing us as your source of entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Wednesday afternoon. This is where we talk everything sciences, mathematics, technology, and everything in between. If you just joined us, well, you can hop on to YouTube and find out as new segments that you just missed. And if you missed this very episode, you can catch the repeat Friday morning between 7 and 9 a.m. Welcome to it, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And joining us right now, Gunadia. Um, um, who, he, yeah, um, <laughs> she's from the National Secretary of Association of South Africa Women in Science and Engineering. Nadia is currently completing her PhD in the Department of Chemical Engineering at UCT. Nadia is here to tell us about the amazing work the Association, Association Yake Enzayo. Welcome to the show. Hi, Thank you so much. Are you nervous? <laughs> Yeah, you should be. You should be. We're going to slice you up right now. <laughs> Don't be, I'm kidding. So, uh, Nadia, to jump into the first question, uh, when was the, uh, the, the association founded? So, ISA was founded... Please use the microphone, yes. Um, ISA was founded in 1995 by um, Leslie Shackleton and Jennifer Thompson. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then how does it, how does it choose to focus on what it's focusing right now? On women yeah. in science and engineering. So I think that global in South Africa and globally, I think we have a long way to go to achieve gender equality in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and medicine. Um, and then also the world is on the verge of the fourth industrial revolution. Mm. I mean, it will completely, as Dr. Bladen Zimande says, it will completely blur the lines between biological, physical, and um, cyber systems. Mm. I think that women should be as prepared as men for that transition into a completely new era. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what SAYS is focusing on. Since its inception, um, what has SAYS have done so far since you opened your doors? So. Uh, Basically, SOIs is a platform to get women together, to get women to network, um, to raise the profile of women in mm. science, technology, engineering, maths, and medicine. Um, we also have a scholarship through which we sponsor uh, students, female students in science at the honors level because we believe that that's really the mm. make or break year. Um, uh, yeah, and then we do lots of outreach projects with schools where we kind of create an interest in science. Um, at the high school level. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Why is it important for women to have role models, especially in this field? Yeah. I think we call them trailblazers for a reason. I mm. think it's important to see that others have done it. I mean, if, if you think about the challenges that women face um, in, in, in these fields, for me personally, as a woman in science, it's important to see that others have done this, they have gone before us, they've blazed the trail, and so we can follow and, you know, build on whatever they have they have laid down as a foundation. What did you just yeah. say? A trail, trail blazer. Trail blazer, yeah. That is quite. They, they that is so cool. Trail yeah. <laughs> so tell me, um, who can be part of ESA Wise? Is, is it just women or is it? Is it, is it? Yeah, so um, if you have a degree, a BSc or a BSc engineering degree or higher degree, um, you can join and be a member. If you have worked as a, a maths, biology or physical science teacher at the school level, you can join and be a member. Um, or if you work just as a professional in science and engineering. Mm. And then also men who meet those criteria and who support the cause um, of uplifting the profile of women in STEM, you are also welcome to join. Yeah. Wow. Well, you mentioned um, that some of the women are trailblazers and they, they become these role models for young women. Are yeah. there women that you feel that they are worthy of being mentioned who yeah. are breaking the norms and pushing the ceiling very high yeah. and um, worth that, mentioning, I really. think that there are there are so many of them in South Africa mm. um, that I, I look up to. If I have to think off the top of my head, um, there's Dr. Salamim Maswime. She's from Limpopo. She's now been appointed head of global surgery at UCT. Um, amazing, humble beginnings, and she's achieved so much. I think her research is mainly focused on reducing maternal morbidity, which is mm. still a big problem in South Africa. 
Um, this is our own chairperson, Benedicta Matlangu Durkan. Uh, she's a chemical engineer by training, um, really is someone who has worked so hard for everything that she has achieved in life. Um, she now works at the Saldana Bay Industrial Development Zone, which is one of the economic development projects that the South African government has identified um, to develop the offshore oil and gas sector of the country. Um, there's Dr. Tabi Melamu, who's at the Innovation Hub in Johannesburg, very passionate about sustainable development. Um, and interestingly, she works in a field where they translate science to business. Uh -huh. Um, closer to home and on a more personal level, someone who's actually a friend of mine, Dr. Nongkhopo Khatle. She's currently at Oxford, where she's doing a postdoctoral cool. fellowship. Yeah. Yes. Um, why she's someone that I am inspired by is that Nongkhopo grew up in a rural village in Limpopo. I mean, she'll tell you that more than 60% of the province is rural. She grew up in a village where her interest in science was sparked by the fact that in the 90s, she saw entire families being wiped out by HIV. And as a young girl, she, she, she'd she always think about what she could do huh. um, you know, to circumvent that problem. And that's where her interest in science started. She took it from there, came all the way to UCT to do um, postgrad. Her understanding of the English language is very limited. And long story short, she's at Oxford now doing amazing things. Well, yeah. Before so we those go, are just a few. Before yeah. we go, can you just tell me about the future for ESA-wise, uh, maybe your five-year year, year, year plan? Yeah. So I, I don't think ESMIS has a five-year plan. I think mm. ESMIS's lifelong mission is to uplift the profile of women in mm. science, technology, engineering, and maths, as I have said. Um, we continue to do this by supporting uh, students financially, um, doing outreach programs, creating spaces where women can network and increase collaboration. Um, yeah, and then just uh, Push you know, focus yeah. on creating awareness of the problems yeah. that women face oh. in the field. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nadia.